Hi, Felix. This is your story for this week. This is a story about a guy who got up one morning and went to get dressed and discovered that he didn't have any clean clothes. He looked in his closet and he looked in the dresser and there were no clean clothes there. And he looked in the hamper and there weren't even any slightly dirty clothes there that he could wear. He had no clothes to wear. So he looked around the house to try to find what he could wear. Could he make some clothes out of something else? Could he make some clothes out of curtains? No, the curtains were too big. And when he wrapped them around himself, he couldn't walk. Um, could he make some clothes out of the cushions of the couch? He thought maybe he could get a rope and he could like tie the cushions from the couch around himself. But that did not work either because the cushions were too big and they kept his legs from working and he, and he couldn't walk when he had the cushions on. So he went and he looked in the kitchen and looked for garbage bags, but he didn't want to wear garbage bags because he knew it wasn't safe to put Whoa. plastic on his clothing. So he didn't do that. So finally, he used the only thing he could find. He used banana peels. So he took a bunch of bananas and he ate all the bananas and then he wrapped the banana peels around himself and made a banana peel outfit. And this was extra handy because it turned out that when you wear a banana peel outfit, nobody can catch you. They just slip off. So when he was going down the street, a neighbor's dog chased after him and tried to catch him, but it just slipped off because of the bananas. And when he was in town and somebody tried to stop him and make him stand and talk to him, they would grab him by the arm, but their hand would just slip off because he was covered with bananas. The only bad part was that when he went to get lunch and he sat down in a chair, it turned out that every time he sat in the chair, he slipped out of it because he was covered with bananas. So the moral of the story is make sure you have clean clothes. See you next week. Love you.